What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and today I actually have some narrated showdown matches for you. I know it's been a week since I posted my last video, but I've had uh you know just you know just life going on here, but as I always say, get them up when you can. I do really appreciate you guys checking out my content, but uh today's match is a match that I actually had against ridiculous and she was testing out a team for a tournament and so I just threw together a Volt Turn team. Uh, based on some Pokemon that I had in game, and I also wanted to test out offensive max speed Florges. Uh But as soon as I saw Carbink and Trevenant and all those slow Pokemon, I was like, she has a Trick Room team. And this is unfortunate because I'm using fast U Turners, except for Conkledur. Uh So she actually gets to put a couple of my Pokemon down here with Victini. Of course, Victini being interesting in Trick Room because its speed is lowered after a V Create. But that's okay. Even though she knocks those out, I noticed that my win condition for her team is going to be my Diggersby. I did expect her to switch out into Trevenant, so I immediately U-turned out into Noivern. I actually thought she would just switch back into Carbink and see the Flamethrower coming, but she may have just expected me to U-turn as well. Uh, and she gets up her own Stealth Rocks as I put up a Wish, because I just expected her to go ahead and Trick Room once again. And so the Trick Room is back up, and she has a Light Screen, which is really bad. I can't really do that much while the Light Screen is up. Dragalge is, of course, very bulky. And based on that damage, this is definitely an offensive Dragalge. Uh, and the Poison Hacks isn't going to matter too much right there. Uh, but fortunately, the Trick Room is down. I just have to contend now with the Light Screen being up, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, she goes for Toxic Spikes probably because I have uh, Diggersby and Conkledur grounded and of course Fortis is already toxic or poisoned rather and this is actually going to help out my Conkledur a lot because I get to activate regular poison on it which is going to be easier to heal off than toxic poison I, I wouldn't be able to stay in as long with toxic poison uh, and here I'm just gonna keep on going for drain punches just because yes her Victini resists it but since I don't have a speed reducing nature or minus uh, or I think I even have four speed EVs on this Conkledur, just so my Mach Punch outspeeds other Conkledur's Mach Punches. Uh, I have a little bit of speed on there, so I'm actually able to outspeed Victini and kill it with the Facade, uh, which is really, really nice. Unfortunately, because I am normally poisoned, I'm unable to live after the poison damage with that Moon Blast, but I now have my choice Scarf Diggers be ready to go. Everything on her team except for Aggron has been sufficiently weakened just from switching around and taking hits so much that I'm going to be able to polish up a good portion of her team with just huge power boosted stab earthquakes. Now that earthquake did not do as much as I thought to Aggron, which I was surprised at. Maybe it's more physically defensive. I do get a crit on the flamethrower, but I don't think it mattered. My Noivern was specced in that battle. And uh, unless Aggron was max special defense, I think, it's very unlikely that it would have lived it just because of how uh, well it took that earthquake, which of course was super effective as well. Now in the second battle here, uh, you guys may have seen me on Twitter actually, I was testing out a couple of team concepts using Mega Venusaur, Sylveon, and Deoxys as a core. Now, I find that leading off with Deoxys defense is just really, really good. I'm able to taunt opposing Pokemon. I kind of go back and forth on whether Spikes or Stealth Rocks is better for this team. Uh, and I also have recently switched over Deoxys to holding Rocky Helmet just because uh, I've only had Red Card be useful really just about one time. Now this Alakazam is actually Scarfed in this battle and I didn't know it. We did say it, see it take Entry Hazard damage and Sandstorm damage which means it has Inner Focus most likely to avoid damage, uh, to avoid flinching from fake outs and such. This is also when I was trying to run uh, my weird, bulky Sylveon with Calm Mind, but Sylveon just functions so much better as a Wish Passer. Now, as evidence here, switching between Sylveon and Venusaur is really, really useful, uh, just because of the typing they have between them, and also I'm going to be able to take a Psychic from Thunderous, which is really, really nice, and hit it with a Sludge Bomb. Now, I don't really want to take another one of those, and he knows that. Uh, so he's actually going to Volt Switch out, and he goes out into Greninja, and I'm like, dang it, if only I were running my Choice Scarf Rotom Heat, but of course that's not my Choice Scarf one, I'm running the one with Chesto Resto. And so I've made quite a few changes to this team, but it's just really cool to look back and, and see how things would have been different. 
Now I make kind of a bad play there switching into Deoxys. I had really had no reason to not switch in um, Sylveon into the uh, Greninja. Uh, my opponent also definitely expects me to switch there just because he can threaten me out with Psychic, but I just kill him with the Sludge Bomb because I switched last time. I didn't want to be too predictable. Uh, unfortunately, since Sylveon is toxic, I'm not going to be able to take two of those hits, and so I really just wanted to put some damage on the Alakazam, since he's taking so much damage switching in every single time, it would have just been a better play to go for Wish, but I end up basically just sacking my Sylveon in here. For I wanted to force his chance to stay in and be at a point where I can knock it out with my Caldeo, or at the very least, just don't switch out, because of course at this point I did not realize that uh, his Alakazam was Scarf, so I wasn't, I wasn't fearing the Alakazam, really. I thought Caldeo would be able to outspeed it. Now, I did predict him to switch into Gliscor, which is why I went for Icy Wind, but he actually just ended up staying in, which is like, dang it. Uh, and I know he's probably just going to keep on using Wish and Toxic, and so I might as well rip a huge hole in his team right now with Haxorus. Uh, I am able to get up to plus two, plus two. One of those is going to be able to take out Blissey, and I know another, if it took out Blissey, it's going to take out Tyranitar. Unfortunately for me, he has Outrage, which sucks because that means I have to not only take an extra turn of Sandstorm damage, but the Toxic is going to rack up as well. I did not want to risk hitting myself in Confusion, so I decided to just switch right onto my defensive Rotom, and he actually has Outrage of his own, so it's definitely a good thing that I didn't stay in there, because a Tyranitar's Outrage probably would have KO'd me after all that uh, residual damage. Uh, with the Sandstorm up, I of course did not want to risk him getting a crit or something through the burn, so I decided to rest up, get my HP back, switch into Venusaur. He's going to die from burn in two turns anyway, uh, so this is going to be the type of thing where he either has to switch out and get residual damage on something else, through spikes and my Giga Drain, or he's going to stay in and die. And unfortunately here he definitely gets a huge crit with that Psychic Attack, I would have definitely lived it with the amount of HP I had. And when I go out in the Scarf Caldeo is when I realize that he is, of course, Scarfed. And I have not played against the Scarf Alakazam before, but the surprise factor alone was basically enough for him to put himself in a winning position here. Because now as Greninja outspeeds both of my remaining Pokemon, and I was just expecting an Ice Beam to kind of just KO my Haxorus. He goes for the Dark Pulse. I'm not sure why, an Ice Beam definitely would have killed. Uh, but I live it. And I get the Dragon Dance, but he has Shadow Sneak, so it doesn't end up mattering anyway. So that was a good battle. I have a couple of more showdown battles I'm going to do my best to get up this week uh, with me kind of tinkering around with that team, so I've been changing things around. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great week of your own here. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later this week. Bye now.